You know, I've always heard stories about this team even growing up. In Northeast Ohio, people would talk about the 1989 Flying Illini, arguably the best team in program history. They won 31 games, went to the Final Four, averaged 86 points per game, dunk after dunk after dunk, and after 30 years, still bringing fans to their feet. All the stars were back Saturday for the Flying Illini reunion. Whenever we get together, it's, just, it's, it's going to show not just natural. We all care. We genuinely cared about each other. What up, man? You're here. And here's why this reunion is really special. This is the first time since that 89 season that we have all been together here at the same time. You ain't changed a bit. This is the first time. I don't know if any of you guys know that. Did not know that. That's incredible. So what's it like for a legend to come back to campus after all these years? When I, when I come back here, when I do get an opportunity to come back here, it's always butterflies, man, because it's, it feels like I'm about to go out and try, uh, play a, a game of basketball. Yeah, KB, why you have sunglasses, man? Well, I, that's my mother. I always worried about the Knicks, man, and not his set. I've been trying to take care of my brothers, man. I've been doing this for a long time. Now let's get Netflix on the phone. I mean, you can make a 90-minute documentary on these guys or a sitcom or something. The personalities are unbelievable. Nick was your quiet guy. Irvin and myself, uh, you know, and Marcus, you know, were the funny guys. Hey, this is the guy y'all need to be interviewing right here. A walking legend, Rod Carter. Kendall was, you know, he's, he was also, you know, quiet, laid back, observant. You know, Steve a little outgoing, uh, low the same way. But, you know, it was all love, it was all fun. And when it came time to lace them up, you know, that's when people ran into trouble. They did some remarkable things during that magical run 30 years ago. And behind the scenes, faced some tough times that many fans might not know about. Twice that year, like earlier in the year, Nick's mom was in a car accident. Was pretty banged up, but uh, we, you know, so we were there for Nick. Then uh, during the tournament run, before the Louisville game, my mom suffered a stroke. I, I didn't know it until after the game. But once the guys found out, then we beat Syracuse. They gave me the game ball, took the game ball down there to her the week, the week before the Final Four game. And so those two instances, I think, really, really brought us closer to what we already were. We loved each other. And that shows, as we, we all met here uh, last night, it shows that we, we all care and those feelings came back. And so we're, we're just enjoying the moment right now. <laughs>